Alrighty then. So a while ago I purchased uh, this uh, Just Buy Blender from AliExpress. It's uh, rated at a uh, maximum of 2200 watts with a 2 litre capacity. Uh, the model number is 888-G5200 and when I bought it there was a special on that included a spare jug, uh, some spare blades and a few other accessories that I can't quite remember. However I noticed after a few weeks that there was a, a rattling noise coming from the blender when it was in use and it got worse over time and the first thing I thought to myself was oh damn it this chi it's these Chinese -um crap bearings uh, that are just really poor quality or possibly that the uh, motor mount is loose it's important to note that I uh, eliminated the jug uh, bearings for the blade as the source of the vibration and so once I took it apart, I um, just determined if there was any play in the motor mount itself and in the bearings, and there was nothing obvious. I also took the motor drive coupling off and uh, turned on the blender um, and put it up to full, uh, full speed, uh, and there was no discernible rattling. So I took a closer look at the metal drive coupling itself and how it's attached to the shaft. And what I noticed is they were using a countersunk bolt to um, hold the, the drive coupling in place. But the drive coupling itself has a flat, a flat hole or a hole with a flat surface on it. And so even with the O-ring um, attached to the bolt. It doesn't matter how much you tighten down the uh, countersunk bolt, it won't have enough surface area on the drive coupling to uh, keep it in place and to have a nice sturdy uh, assembly when the drive coupling is spinning. So the solution is re really relatively simple. Uh, I just had these 5mm uh, bolts um, lying around with a flat head Incidentally, uh, the bolt that you require, at least for this model, is an M5 8mm bolt. Uh, I think with 10mm it's just too long to actually um, to fit into the shaft. I also use some uh, thread lock uh, to, to make sure that you know, over time the drive coupling is not going to loosen. So I tighten everything back up again and lo and behold, at full power there is no rattling whatsoever. Keep in mind that these particular blenders, they're not the highest quality blenders, so they do make a lot of noise in operation, but there's a difference between that uh, the whine of the motor and the vibration versus the actual um, rattling, severe vibration that can happen with a, um, you know, your bearings are short or your motor, motor mount is loose or in my case, that the metal drive coupling is not secured down correctly.